Simple Super Survival here with Grayson Jennings at Ridge Runner Blades. He's going to talk about some of the products he's got on the table here. What's going on? So I guess we'll start over here and work our way. Um, we've got a variety of different high carbon steel blades that have been Cerakoted for rust protection. I don't really know what the name of this one is, but it features fat carbon handle scales, rock texturing on the spine and underside of the handle, and a black Kydex sheath. Next, we'll come to something I've been working on for a little while, and this is our Carbon Series Strike. It is roughly a two and a quarter inch blade with a carbon fiber handle scale. Um, aggressive, but soft jumping for a great purchase. It's got a brown Kydex sheath. Um, another strike we offer is Cerakoted and Hunter Orange because if you're like me, you've lost and left a lot of knives in the woods and that's no fun for anybody involved. Um, then we've got our Spike, which is basically the little brother of the strike and it is exactly that. It's a spike. It's more of a up swooping blade. Um, it's great for birds, great for you know self-defense should you need that. And there's nothing really that is too big or too small for this knife. Um, next, we'll come over here to some of the slip joints. Um, all of our slip joints are made in-house, starting with steel and transitioning from the back spacers, the liners, and to the final edge. Um, this one is my Hawk model. It features more of a worn cliff style slash, you know, Hawk build uh, folder on the front. Nail nicks, my maker's mark. Um, this one's got fat carbon as well. Beautifully shined and meticulously polished. Titanium liners with a blue G10. Um, another folder I'd like to highlight is new for 2023 is my Saddleback model. Um, this is my personal interpretation on one of Case's beautiful, uh, you know, swayback folders. It's got an incredible action with um, vintage micarta handles and green, white G10, as well as a burgundy micarta bolster riding on a black G10 with a um, 60 thou thick piece of titanium. All the file work is done by me. Um, we've got CPM 154 blade and spring, razor sharp, super thin grind, excellent for a, a, a suit or a pair of blue jeans. Um, a couple other ones we've got are these are my coat series of the RCO. Um, the RCO stands for Rock Creek Overlander. And this one was designed with the intention of those who enjoy overland travel and want one knife that can do them all. You can prep food, you can cut rope, you can get yourself out of a hairy situation with this. This one is our blackout model. It's got black G10, black screws, black stainless steel screws, but it has a brown sheet, so it's not super blackout. Next, a uh, couple ones we're gonna look at are our Coat Series XOs. The XO was one of my first production models um, all of these, once again, are 1095 high carbon steel that have been Cerakoted. I heat treat all of my steel in-house and we try to score around 60 to you know, anywhere from 59 to 60 Rockwell. Um, brown Kydex sheaths on these guys and this cool Dymalux, which is layered birch bark that has been cut and sculpted to add this 3D effect to it. Um, Dymalux is quickly becoming one of my favorite materials to work with. We offer it in red as well as brown, which I believe is my favorite. Um, the the chatoints in the handle themselves, plus with the added sculpture and the blade, it you can't beat it. Beautiful combo, super sharp. You know, we are dedicated to excellence here and nothing but it. Um, I personally will guarantee these knives for life and wish y'all the best. Thank you. Yes, sir, man. Thank you. Absolutely.